guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will create a um, zombie in Adobe Fuse. We will send this character to Adobe Mixamo. We will animate it and after that we will send our uh, animated character to Adobe Photoshop CC and we will create a spooky animation for um, Halloween. Let's start guys. As you can see, I have opened my Adobe Fuse and on the right side of my screen, um, I have all uh, characters I can work with. I will click on a zombie, no surprise in here. And Fuse uh, will redirect me to another um, workspace, torso workspace, where I can see zombie torso. I will click on it. Same uh, with a leg. And same with hand and voila, my uh, zombie character is ready. I can um, customize my character. I can adjust uh, body structure, uh, skin color and everything like that. But I'm happy with uh, my uh, zombie. I will uh, switch to closing workspace. Here I have um, a dirty short, voila. I will click on Bottoms workspace and here I have shorts I would like to wear on my uh, zombie, just like that. Same with uh, shoes. I like these uh, boots. Guys, I can add a uh, hair, hats I wear, but I'm happy with my zombie. Also guys, do not forget I can customize a color of a zombie's outfit. But as I said, I'm happy with what I'm having right now. Time to send my character to Mixamo to animate it. I will click send on Mixamo just like that. I will rename it Zombie for Halloween. I will click save and voila. Now Fuse will um, analyze my character finalize uh, creating it and I will in a uh, fuse it will send my character to mix salmon for animation and voila a uh, fuse sent uh, a 3d character to mix salmon mix salmon will analyze it uh, download it and we are ready to start our animation voila I will click on finish just like that yes please use this character and please animate it guys this is the candy store for me just look uh, on the left side of my screen i have all animations i can work with guys just look at this i believe it's yes 52 pages of amazing ready to go animations you don't need to create animation from scratch just click on anime uh, any animation you would like to apply to your character and voila you are ready to go uh, also you can specify search for your animation I will click on second page because if I remember correctly yes I have zombie animation here I will click on it and voila guys just look at my zombie <laughs> I love, love, love it. I will um, uh, expand my uh, uh, total frames, number of my total frames. Now I will have my total frames, 370, uh, 367 total frames. I'm happy with my animation. I will click on download. I will specify format to Collada and I will click download and voila. After Mixamo will finish downloading my 3D character to my hard drive, I will open Photoshop CC and we will continue working on our project. So guys, now we are ready um, to create our um, Halloween animation in Adobe Photoshop CC. I have opened Adobe Photoshop CC. I will click on File, Open. And here in um, I will click on Downloads. And here I can see my zombie. I will click to highlight uh, my folder, zombie, zombie folder. I will click on a zombie um, tab and I will click open. You can specify uh, parameters of your document in any way you want to. I will click OK. And voila, let me zoom in. This is my uh, zombie. Let's play. <laughs> Perfect, 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 perfect. What I will do, guys, now, 
I'm happy with uh, my zombie assetes. I will not uh, adjust anything. What I will do, I will bring my animation to uh, zero point. And here, guys, what I will do, I will open my uh, library's um, Creative Cloud library. And here I have my image I would like to use as my background today. I will click on this image and drag it into my document just like this. I will reposition it. I will resize it just slightly and I will click OK to accept this layer. Guys, now I need to restock my layer. I need layers. I need to bring my zombie on top of my background layer. So I will click on a zombie layer and I will uh, drag it on top of my um, background layer just like this. In the options bar, guys, I have many, many different um, options uh, I can control my uh, 3D uh, zombie with. I, I will click on a slide as a 3D camera and I will move my zombie on the side and slightly on a distance. Just like this. Maybe something like this. Yes, let's see. Something like this. I will click on a rotate 3D object and I will rotate it just slightly, just like this, to make it more realistic looking zombie just like this i like it guys by the way before i will forget i'm in, in 3d workspace uh, i highly recommend you if you're working with 3d objects switch to 3d workspace because um, i don't think it's possible to work without switching to 3d um, workspace it's easier and <laughs> it's necessary to switch to 3d uh, workspace simply click on window workspace and 3d and voila now, guys, what I would like to do, I would like to adjust um, my uh, zombie. So you can see that I have um, different colors in my background and in my zombie layers. What I will do, I will click on adjustments panel. Here I have um, exposure. I will click on exposure adjustment. And in the properties uh, panel, I will click on add a clipping mask. Now I will uh, apply adjustment only to my zombie. Just like this. Perfect. I like it. Now, guys, let me, maybe I will adjust just like this. Perfect. Now, what I will do, I will highlight my zombie layer just like that. I will click on a light icon like this. And guys, in the properties panel, I would like to uh, adjust. Um, first of all, I would like to adjust shadow. I would like to add softness to my shadow, to my zombie shadow, just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And probably I will change color. I will use some blue color. Not like this blue, but something like this. Guys, it's apocalypse. You can do anything you want to. Don't overthink. Just create something spooky and beautiful. Just like this. Perfect. And guys, I can rotate my light to create dramatic effect. Maybe something like that. And voila, I'm happy with my zombie. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will. Yes, just like that. Now I have a very uh, dramatic um, hands shadow on his shorts and I like, like, like it. Guys, now what I will do, I will click on adjustments. I will click on a color lookup. From the drop down menu, probably I will click on, uh, let's see, foggy night. Mm, yes, I like foggy night. Um, a foggy night and guys because i applied adjustments a separate layer i bring, bring down opacity of this adjustment layer just like that perfect 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 believe or not guys our uh, spooky image is ready definitely you can add as many details as you like if you like guys uh first of all i will highlight my top layer I will uh, click on adjustments panel one more time. I will click on vibrance and I will uh, move vibrance uh, slider 
choose a, uh, a left just like that and again guys because I applied adjust adjustment a separate layer I can adjust my adjustment uh, layer at any time what I will do I will bring down opacity of my adjustment layer just something in the middle just like this perfect now I'm already this is my animation perfect guys uh, definitely you can add as many details as you like guys everything is up to you it's your creation but I like my animation as it is for a uh, now what I will do I will go to files export and render video um, you need to specify name you need to specify a location I specify location to my desktop and I will click uh, render and voila for the ah, see I already have this file file so I will rename it to um, zombie Halloween and voila I will click render and voila Photoshop will finish um, rendering and we are ready to rock and roll our um, Halloween. So, guys, Photoshop finished exporting my video. Let me bring my window, and here I have my um, zombie. Open with QuickTime Player, and <laughs> voila! This is our zombie dancing. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you guys very much for being with me today. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. You can tag me on Twitter if you want um, something right away. If you have any questions or if you um, will create very spooky... Uh, Halloween animation in uh, Photoshop after um, my tutorial just tag me in your creation on a Twitter I will be more than happy to see it thank you guys thank you very much for being with me highly appreciated and I will see you later bye